Hello, I'm Dr. Benito Rashan, and this channel is dedicated to skin care for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So what I love to do is to go through ingredients and tell you whether or not a product is suitable and safe for skin of colour. If you've watched enough of my videos, you will know by now that with us, we just need to have much higher standards for skincare because we cannot tolerate any inflammation or irritation. This can lead to more pigmentation, which is actually more traumatic than what you, what you started with. So we do need to take a little bit more care and um, make sure us and our loved ones know what we're putting on our skin with our hard-earned money. Okay, so today's brand is quite exciting because there are so few brands out there that have been marketed to skin of colour or geared towards skin of colour. So, you know, the handful, you know, the two or three that I've come across, I actually get really excited about. And a lot of you have asked me to review Urban RX. So that is exactly what I have done. Um, I've done a deep dive investigation, and if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so moving on to the first product, which is the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. So the positives are that it has no fragrance, which is excellent. Uh, the negatives are, are that actually the percentages. So for example, well, first of all, starting off with coconut oil. I would avoid this product if you have oily, acne-prone skin, um, just because of that one ingredient. And the other negatives, I'd say, are really the percentage active. So even though the they're using the correct actives, the percentages that they're using are not going to be very effective. So let me give you some examples. It's got the 13th ingredient here is kojic acid, which is going to be at about 1%. And the 14th ingredient here is niacinamide, again, which is going to be at about 1%. So very low percentages. And then the last four ingredients, retinol palmitate, which is your vitamin A, alpha arbutin, which is your tyrosinase inhibitor, licorice extract, also tyrosinase inhibitor, um, are going to be at a fraction. So the last sorry, three ingredients are going to be a fraction of 1%. So really very, very low, more for marketing than efficacy. So mm, not that impressed with that so far. And also they added witch hazel. So that means you're going to have tannins on the skin, which can lead to increased sensitivity. And often it's distilled in alcohol. So then you get denatured alcohol on the skin too. So for me, I would probably say save your money for this particular product and sidestep. Okay, so the next product is the Resurfacing Cleansing Bar. So the positives here are niacinamide 2.5%, which is excellent. Kojic Acid, again, which is a very good tyrosinase inhibitor. The negatives of this particular product are that it's got ethanol in it, which they've used as a solvent. There are better solvents out there. We just really should be avoiding drying alcohols on our skin full stop, at least to premature aging, which is something none of us want. <laughs> so I would avoid. The next one has got citrus peel extract, which is sensitizing to the skin, is basically used as a fragrance. And then it's got L-ascorbic acid, which is probably one of my least favorite vitamin Cs because it has a low pH, which is also not ideal. And it's a bit odd actually to put this in this particular product because niacinamide doesn't work very well. You need, you need to make sure that the, the ingredients you're putting together have a similar pH and are working at a similar pH. Otherwise, something is not going to be working. In addition, it's only got l acid, no other antioxidants. So don't forget, you want to have a combination of antioxidants to stabilize it. So it could have been a really good product. I just think they need to make a few tweaks. And Urban RX, if you're watching, make those tweaks for me. And I promise I will do a video endorsing the product because it's, you know, you're almost there. So the next product I love, and this is their Hydro Balance. It is doctor approved. I would buy it. Um, it's non-commodogenic. As you know, how hard it is to find a moisturizer that's non-commodogenic. I've actually literally today just filmed a video which says all the moisturizers that say they're non-commodogenic but actually have commodogenic ingredients in them and I would ugh, not buy if you have oily skin. So this one is good. The positives are the squalene, so it's got, that's the emollient. It's got sodium hyaluronate, which is your, it's like a water magnet. Uh, it's got xylitol glucoside in it. Again, a very good humectant and it's got no fragrance, no alcohol, no essential oils. So this one is definitely a keeper. 
So the next product um, is the Super C Brightening Serum. And unfortunately for me, it's a no. Let me explain why. It's got 20% L-ascorbic acid, kojic acid, and ferulic acid. So on initial inspection, that looks fantastic, right? Until you realize that L-ascorbic acid works best at a pH of 1 to 2.5, so very low. Now imagine that that's already going to be quite irritating. And now you've also got kojic acid, which is also irritating, and ferulic acid, which is also very, can be quite irritating. This as a combination is going to be too harsh for a lot of people with skin of color. In addition, they then went and added citrus peel and mentha. Mentha is, uh, I don't know why people add menta, you know, it's, it makes it, it gives you that tingling feeling and, you know, that minty smell. And I think that's why people add it, but it's a skin sensitizer. Your skin is not happy when you put this on your face. So avoid anything with menta in the inky list at the back. And the good active, so the ingredients that I love, 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 that I talk about all the time, things like alpha arbutin, niacinamide are at a fraction of a percent. I mean, it's, they're not even going to be in the therapeutic index. It's more, you know, more of a marketing thing. Oh, it's got alpha arbutin. Oh, it must be good for you. And then you can say it's a key ingredient because you know how there's no law to say, oh, what percentage is a key ingredient? Um, so for me, this one's a bit of a shame. I'd avoid this one. Okay, so the next product is the Even Tone Night Treatment, and it's got 2% hydroquinone in it. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already know hydroquinone is my least favorite tyrosinase inhibitor. The reason being that hydroquinone is too harsh for skin of color. What happens is when you're on it, you get fantastic results and you know your pigmentation almost clears up and you think you're doing a great job. The problem is you're almost suppressing that melanocyte and the second you stop using it, which you have to do within three months, that pigmentation often comes back and comes back worse. It's called rebound pigmentation. And then you've got it coming up all over the face, not just in the area that you originally had the pigmentation. And this is the whole reason why I created the hyperpigmentation clinic uh, in the UK. You know, I formulated the world's first professional grade pigmentation treatment for skin of color because every single treatment for pigmentation was causing more irritation and more pigmentation than when you first started, um, which just was extremely unfair considering, you know, pigmentation is, our one skin condition that we majority of people with skin of color suffer with at some point in their life. It's not even like we age badly, you know, our skin is actually usually in really good condition. The thing that upsets us the most is hyperpigmentation. So we really can't afford any injury or irritation to our skin. And that's why I tend to say steer clear of hydroquinone. Now I know some people paraphrase me and in the wrong way and will say things like, oh, Dr. Fee thinks it causes cancer, etc. It does not. I'd like to just make that clear. Absolutely does not cause cancer. You're not allowed to put anything into a cosmetic cream that can cause cancer. It just, you know, we are regulated. As a, I'm a manufacturer myself, we are regulated. However, having said that, I would still steer clear of hydroquinone. There are far better tyrosinase inhibitors that don't irritate the skin. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you already follow, if you follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at the hyperpigmentation clinic. You can see what I'm talking about when it comes to pigmentation and treating pigmentation and how to do it, the actives that we should be using on our skin. You can also follow me on skincare at skincare by Dr. V on Instagram or on TikTok, Dr. Benita Rattan, where again, basically hyperpigmentation is a thing that I talk about the most because, you know, I invested the most amount of my life in that one condition. So yeah, if you are interested in pigmentation, make sure you follow me on those. Okay, so the next product is Hydra Firm and Brightening Serum, and I love it! I would definitely say go and buy this product. So um, the second ingredient here is niacinamide, the fourth ingredient here is alpha arbutin, which, which is a tyrosinase inhibitor. It's got peptides, centella asiatica in it too. It's got 1% lactic acid, so it's not going to burn skin of color, which is important. It's got no fragrance, no alcohol, which is also key. So I would say buy this particular product. Now, I'm sure by now you've probably realized just because packaging says for skin of color on the surface, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for skin of color. Okay, so this is what this whole channel is about, so that you yourself can look at that ingredients list and think, actually, is this suitable for me? Or is this too harsh for me? Or where are the percentages? Where is it on the inky list? Is it more of a marketing gimmick? Or is this in the therapeutic index? This is what the knowledge I want to impart to you so that, you know, you can go shopping, you don't need me. <laughs> Who's Dr. V? You don't need Dr. V. <laughs> I want you yourself to look at 
the ingredients list and know, not just it's saying, you know, for skin of color or someone with a brown face on the packaging, you know, that's not enough. So ingredients don't lie, ingredients are key. As you probably know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and none of my videos will ever be sponsored. It's very important that we have somewhere to go to see evidence-based information on the products that we are buying that's not being swayed um, by outside forces. So um, that's really what, why I've done this. This is my le love letter to my skin of color community globally. If there are any other brands you want me to review, please do write them down below. I think we are rapidly getting through the brands. I mean, I think we've probably done at least a hundred brands by now. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Um, okay, don't forget to download your free guide for skincare skin of color. Link is down below. Thank you very much. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video.